Hello, judging panel. Um, my name is Hyun Zing, and I'm a grade 12 student here at Western Canada High School in Calgary, Alberta. Um, and I've been part of the band program uh, since I came in grade 10, so three years now. And uh, as a result, I've also become a member of our leadership group called the Band Executive. And also, I serve as the Fine and Performing Arts Teacher's Assistant. So. Um, I'm also the assistant for the band program as a result, and the assistant to our band director, Mr. Brendan Hagen. Uh, so my name is Jean Cho, and I'm also a grade 12 student here at Western Canada High School, and also attended grade 10 here, and also part of the band executive. Uh, today we're here to introduce our program's application for the Music Counts Band Aid Instrument Grant. Yeah, so just to give you guys a little bit of background on how this um, application came to be. So um, this entire application was put together by students like Jean and myself. And uh, we actually heard about this grant last year when we were researching um, some potential instrument grants to apply to because uh, we were starting to realize that our instruments here are not of the best quality. So actually the Music Counts Band-Aid grant is exactly what we were looking for. So um, all of the emailing for all the support letters that you see, um, the compelling needs document, this video, and the entire online application that was all put together by students on their own time and their own initiative. Um, our band teacher actually didn't even have to touch the application. Um, we just put it forward. <laughs> Um, the reason why students put all their time into this band program, such as the grant, is because it truly is a wonderful program and it um, makes you open to many new things. Like for myself, uh, we get to workshop with some amazing players from the CPO, the Calgary Philharmonic Orchestra. And when I first had my clinic, I met my instructor. Uh, his name is Christopher Sales, and he played bassoon like me. And then, you know, after that, he was like, you know, like, you should take lessons with me because, you know, you're good enough. And then I was like, you know, like, yeah, I'll do that. And through that, I got to actually audition for the Calgary Youth Orchestra, which I was able to make it in, and which is something that I would have never even thought of or even could have done on my own without having that exposure to amazing players like him. And Hewen and I have both uh, tried school instruments that are truly about to die. And the band program here is truly amazing. However, it's getting to a point where our potential level is not being reached. And it's not because of the students or anything, but it's because of our instruments, because they lack in quality. Western, with over 350 students just in the band program alone, it's actually a huge deciding factor for many students to come here in grade 10. For me, personally, I live quite far from Western, and actually band was like my number one choice to come here because I heard that this amazing program that you have to get involved at if you're really into music. So for us and many of the students out there, um, it's very important for us to just keep it running and to keep the traditions going on. Yeah, so that's really the motivations between, behind why so many students are willing to um, dedicate their own time outside of their classes, outside of any leadership uh, roles, to put this application forward. And, um, I mean, b band here just gives you so many incredible experiences. And we at Western, we don't have, we're not an impoverished school. Um, we have a lot of materials in the band program. However, it's the quality of those materials that are truly our concern. Um, a lot of our instruments are all the same age, so they've all kind of are reaching their critical point right now. So there could be a situation in the next five years where all of a sudden all of these instruments fail and we don't have the money to replace them or to repair them. And so a large, suddenly a large functioning part of our program is non-existent. Um, so just for comparison, even though a lot of students have written about their own experiences on school rental instruments in their reference letters, um, I just wanted to bring up this example uh, very recently. So this is one of our school rental clarinets, um, and it belongs to a grade 10 student. Um, and recently she was having some issues with the instrument, so we sent it into St. John's Music. And what they told us was that, um, well, we got $100 worth of repair done on it, which is the most we can spend because our rental fee is $100 and they told us that if we wanted to get this instrument back into tip-top shape um, and this instrument is well over 15 years old um, it would cost upwards to $500 which is enough to purchase a new instrument so we don't have that kind of funding right now to be able to do that we don't have that much expendable funding um, with all the other things that we try to do for our students so that's just kind of the situation that we have here and then I play on my own instrument so there's a quite a large difference between the even the appearance of the two and I definitely feel very lucky to not have to worry about my instrument falling apart in my hands at, during rehearsal so um, that's just a little bit about our program um, and Keen. Um, from all of the students here in the band program uh, thank you for hearing us out and considering our school for the application for your grant 
We hope this you found this informative, and thank you for listening. Thank you.